Hey there digital friends, welcome back to Digital Visions and in this video you are going to see how to flash Apple Vision X custom ROM on Moto One Vision Plus. Before that I will show you how is the custom ROM and what are the customizations that we will be getting in this custom ROM. So let me show you that by going into the settings as you can see Apple Vision X running on Android version 12. It's showing 12 here but it's 12.1 and after that it's running on May security patch update and I'm using the Kensur kernel for better performance. You can watch my previous videos on how to flash the Kensur kernel in order to get the better performance and the battery life. So if you want more of these videos click on the subscribe button and if you want to get notified click on the bell icon below. Like and share this video if you want me to do these videos on the Moto One Fusion Plus. So now let's see what are the customizations that we will be getting in this custom ROM. Go to settings and as you can see the Evolver. So go to that and first option is Beams. Here we will be getting the options to change the font, use the arc theme and here we also get the mono engine and after that we can change the icon style and packs also as you can see I click on icon pack as you can see here we have 10 icon packs let me click on this circular one and as you can see on the top it changed so let me change to another one again click on vector and as you can see here it changed the icon pack so this is so cool in this custom room and after that you can change fonts etc and up the status bar what are the things you want to see in the status bar and other notifications and after that quick settings and after power menu what do you want to see in the power menu you can enable that here and after that gestures as you can see system gestures at the first as you can see tap to start actions swipe down notifications gesture navigation etc and now we have the brightness control option here but currently it is not working so i am turning it off and after that tap on the lock screen this is also not working it might be enabled in the future builds and after that buttons and now miscellaneous you can watch the video and see what are the features that we will be getting i am not going deep because it increased the length of the video and after that finally the team of the evolution x so the, all the customizations are features you can see in the evolver and after just the basic things that we'll be getting in every custom rom like extra beam, night light, changing the color saturation and all and after that the mono theme engine like the google pixel as you can see we can enable themed icons and change the wallpapers etc so let us see about the moto actions go to system and over the systems only you can find the moto actions as you can see here and after click on device gestures and you can see we will be getting the 5 basic moto actions and after that ambient display the ambient display works but the adaptive weight is not working so that's all for this customizations and all and here is the geekbench results of this evolution as custom rom as you can see here we will be getting the 529 of single core score and 1570 of multi core score if you want to compare this score you can compare it with the pixel experience and for that you can watch my previous video. So if you want to try out more ROMs you can join this Motorola official group in the telegram I will paste the link in the below. So go to that group and there you can find the custom ROMs like as you can see here CR Droid and after that the Fort Lineage OS and Spark OS, Awaken OS, Cherries OS and finally the Evolution X and you can also find the pixel experience you can join the group and test those roms and another thing i forgot to mention is that we will be getting the moto action finally in our android 12 custom roms as you can see here this is the fully functional moto camera app for shooting photos and videos as you can see it's working perfectly and even you can use the all the four cameras as you can see here the macro photography slow motion panorama 64 etc let me show you the ultra wide angle also as you can see the cameras are all working in this moto one vision plus custom rom the rom is pretty stable except those two three features not working and as you all know the dual OLT which is also not working in this custom rom except this this rom is pretty stable like the others so there are some things that you must do before flashing this custom rom so that is take enter backup of your data before flashing this custom rom and you should unlock your bootloader you can watch my previous video on how to unlock and after that download the required files from the link in the description below 
flash this ROM at your own risk and I am not responsible for anything that happens to your device. So this is my desktop and as you can see there are 3 files over here you can download them from the link in the description below. So before flashing this custom ROM you should be on the latest stock ROM which is Android 11 so if you are already present in the Android 11 you can skip this part otherwise follow this to restore the Android 11 stock ROM. So go to Risk and Smart Assistant, login with your Lenovo ID. After that, you need to take your mobile and go to settings. And after that, go to bill number. You can search it over in the search bar. And after that, go to bill number and press five times on it. So after tapping five times, the developer options will be enabled. So search for USB debugging and then turn on this USB debugging. This is mandatory and if you connect your mobile to the system, you will be getting this prompt, click on OK. So after that click on rescue, click on phone rescue, you can enter your IMEA number over here so that it will detect your mobile or you can connect your mobile to the PC, then also it will detect your mobile. So after that click on OK over here and it will show the latest ROM available for you, click on download, click on OK. If you have already downloaded the stock ROM, it will start flashing and if you are not downloaded, it will download the ROM. So after that, power off your device and connect your cable to the laptop and after that, go to the bootloader mode by pressing power and volume down button. As you can see the bootloader mode here and after that, connect your cable to the mobile. So currently, I am downloading the latest stock ROM available for the device. So I am speeding this part for you. You can watch my previous videos if you have any doubts on unlocking bootloader. Make sure you have at least 50% battery in your mobile before doing this process. It will take some time to download this stock ROM and flash this in your mobile. So as you can see here I have connected my device in the bootloader mode and after that click on rescue, click on proceed. I hope you took the backup of enter that are present in your mobile. So after that click on proceed. And that's it, it will start flashing the Android 11 stock ROM on Moto 1 Fusion Plus. And again it takes some time so I am speeding this part for you. After successfully flashing of this stock ROM it will automatically boot into the Android 11 stock ROM. As you can see now it's successfully flashed and again you need to re-enable the USB debugging in your mobile. So keep your mobile connected to your laptop and after that when the device is turned on skip the initial setup and go to the settings and enable the usb debugging you can enable the usb debugging by go to settings and go to build number and tap on the build number five times so that the developer options will be enabled and after the search to her usb debugging option and enable that again you will be getting a prompt in your mobile click on ok after enabling the usb debugging power of your device now we have successfully completed the step 1 so let's go to the step 2 that is flashing this evolution x custom rom so as you can see here the three files you can download them from the link in the description below so open the evolution x folder and after that you can find this payload.pin file copy that file close the folder open the labor custom rom flasher and go to payload dumper and after that go to payload input folder and after that paste that payload.bin file over here after that go back again and locate this payload dumper.exe over here so double click on that and that's it a command prompt will open as soon as you double click on that as you can see here and that's it you no need to do anything over here and it will start extracting all the files necessary for this evolution x custom rom it takes some time to extract this so i am speeding up this part for you if you have any doubts you can watch my previous videos or join the telegram group from the link in the description below as you can see after extraction it will close automatically so after that you need to go to the payload output folder so double click on the payload output folder and after that you can find these files over here make sure all the files are present in this folder now take your device Go into the bootloader mode by pressing the power button and volume down button for 5 seconds. As you can see it is the bootloader mode and after that now connect your device to the PC. Make sure you have at least 50% charge before proceeding further. So as you can see in the folder you can find these two files that is ROM flasher dirty and ROM flasher with clean wipe. So now click on that clean wipe dot bat and now type Y and click on enter. 
and that's it it will start flashing the evolution next custom rom on your moto one vision plus make sure you have 50 percent battery and do not disconnect your phone during this entire process i am speeding up this part as it takes some time to flash the custom rom it will close automatically as soon as it completes flashing and as you can see here the phone booted into the evolution next custom rom so complete the initial setup and then you are good to go so this is how you flash evolution x custom rom on your moto one fusion plus as you can see currently i'm using the evolution x for more than a week and i can say that there are very less bugs in this custom rom so tap to wake feature is not working and brightness slider or status bar is also not working currently and our famous bug which is the dual OT bug is also not working in this custom rom so if you are using geo sim place the sim in the second sim slot and accept that this ROM is good to go for the daily usage. So comment down below which ROM you want to use in this Moto One Vision Plus. Thank you for watching this video guys and subscribe for more of these videos.